Hi, welcome to this tutorial about Banktree Personal Finance, version 3. In this tutorial, I will talk to you about reports, exporting your data, and the printing options. Banktree Personal Finance offers 10 reports, and these are provided to produce detailed information about your finances. We'll go through the basic reporting structure and the more advanced features. To start with, let's look at how to run a report. You can select a report from the Accounts bar or from the Menu bar. When you run a report, it is shown in two sections, a chart at the top and the report details on the bottom. You can change what is visible, i.e. just the chart or just the report. Click here to do this. You can also launch the report with preset options. Right click on the selected report to see the report menu option. Select show chart to see just the chart. Select show report to see just the report details. And show chart and report to see both. When you run the report, you can hide and show column headers. We will first look into the Account Balances and Net Worth report. This report shows the account balances for all the accounts, both cash and investments. To customise this report, click on the Customise button. The title is the report title given to the custom report. It is shown when you print. You can change this to whatever you want. You can change the date range for the report by amending the time span. To enter a start and end date, select Custom Dates. To use forecasting based on your scheduled items, select Generate Forecast and enter a start date and an end date. We'll reset this to current year for now. For the search, enter numeric values and text values so your report can search across amounts, payees, categories, payment types and descriptions. For the chart, select the different charts available from the drop-down menu. This selection will change for different reports. For example, this report allows selection of a pie chart a column chart and a bar chart. For currency, the default currency is the currency used when generating the report. If you have multiple accounts in different currencies, then to view the report in a single currency, you set the currency here. Regarding the subtotal, each report will have different selections for subtotals. By selecting a different value, a different section will have a subtotal displayed after it. Regarding the show zero value, when this is unchecked, it will only show amounts that are non-zero. For show transfers, when this is unchecked, transfers will not be shown. Further tabs along the top allow you to select filters for account, securities, payees, categories, payments and keywords. The button Select All will select all the entries. This has the effect of not applying any filter, as all the selections will be available. Invert, this will invert the selection. Clear all will clear the selected items. On the Securities tab, you have the additional option of activity. This is the investment activity or investment action, such as dividend, buy, sell, etc., which is useful when you want to filter out the dividends. The Category tab also has an additional option, which is Show Parent Categories Only. When this is selected, 
all subcategories in the report are rolled up into the parent category. Click on the OK button and apply the selected settings to the report. Click on Reset. Clicking on Reset will set all the settings back to their original value. After you have set these values, you will want to save them. Click on the Save button on the report screen. This will bring up the Custom Report dialog box. Enter the custom report name and press the Save button. If you are retrieving an existing report, click on the Select Report button. You can also select the Custom Report function from the Accounts bar, from the Custom Report links or from the Reports menu. You can delete a custom report after you have selected it. So, coming back to our account balances and net worth report, we will set the currency of our report to GBP and set the subtotal to group or account group. So, before we make the changes, this is what the report looks like. It shows both pounds and dollar values as separate figures and it does not show any account group subtotals. Click on Customize, set the currency to pounds and the subtotal to group. We now have a single total for pounds. The report uses the exchange rate to convert between dollars to pounds. The report is subtotaled by the account group, showing a total value on each change of each account group. The reports also have a drill down or a view transactions feature. Double click on the report line item and the view transaction screen will appear. Select the item you want to amend or view in detail and select the View Transactions button. You will then be taken to the Account Transactions screen with the selected transaction. You can then make your amendments and then return to your report when you are done. All the reports follow the same structure and will have different uses based on what you're looking for. For example, if you want an overview of your categories, then use the Spending by Category report, just like this. If you just want to see the parent categories, then select the Customize filter, Categories, and select the options Show Parent Categories Only. If you then decide you want to see the details of the transactions in a single report by category, then you now need to look at the Account Transactions report. All the detailed transaction information is provided in the report. Then click on Customize and set the subtotal to Category. This will show you the details you're after. To export the report to another format, go to the File menu and select Export. You are then shown the File Export dialog box. You can save the export as an ASCII comma separated value or as an Excel worksheet XLS format. We will save it as an Excel worksheet. I will give it a name, choose a file location, then I'll click on Save. After a few seconds, the report has been exported and I'm given a confirmation. To print the report, you can either click on the Print button on the top, which will take you to the Print Preview screen, or you can go to the File menu and select Print to print to your printer. 
The print function will print what is shown on the screen. So if you do not want to print the chart, then you can maximise the report view so the chart is not visible. If you just want to print a chart, a handy shortcut is to right click on the chart and select the option Print Chart. This will bring up the print dialog box so you can just print the chart. I hope you have enjoyed the Banktree tutorial on reports. This is the end of the tutorial. Bye for now.